Lymphoma is the cancer of the immune cells and uh, worldwide around 4 lakh people are diagnosed annually. What causes lymphoma? There are certain viruses like Epstein-Barr virus and HIV and certain autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and Jogren syndrome can cause lymphoma. Apart from this, our change in lifestyle and exposure to pesticides and various other environmental harmful agents can also lead to lymphoma. Now, what are the types of lymphoma? Broadly, there are two types of lymphoma, Hodgkin lymphoma and the non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Of course, there are various different subtypes in each one of them. Now, how do we uh, diagnose lymphoma and what are the symptoms? Generally, patients present with fever, weight loss and drenching night sweats and any part of the body can be involved. There is generally swelling of the glands which can be evident in the neck, arm, elbow, uh, it could be in the groin region or it could be anywhere in the belly or chest. Apart from this, other extra nodal involvement that is apart from the lymph gland involvement, there are other organs which can also be involved. Now how do we diagnose this lymphoma? So lymphoma is diagnosed by a, with a excisional lymph node biopsy. We take out the whole lymph node with a small surgical technique and then it is exposed to pathological diagnosis and uh, the pathology see under the microscope and that's how lymphoma is diagnosed. So how do we stage lymphoma? Lymphoma is staged based on uh, a very important investigation tool which is called as PET-CT. Based on this we know where all which part of the body is involved. And once we stage and diagnose lymphoma, the next thing is treatment. Treatment depends on whether it is Hodgkin lymphoma or non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma is treated with a cocktail of chemotherapeutic agent which is called as ABBD. And with this treatment, irrespective of the stage, around 70 to 80% of, the, of them uh, end up uh, being long-term survivors and also end up having a near normal lifespan. When it comes to non-Hodgkin lymphoma, again it depends on whether it is a B-cell subtype or a T-cell subtype. B-cell lymphomas generally have a good prognosis. We have this drug called rituximab, which can be combined with chemotherapy and again patients end up living long and most of them are cured. A small subset of patients which are called as T-cell lymphomas are uh, difficult to treat, but again like I said it is a very small subset. And to summarize, lymphoma is one of the curable malignancies and please consult your physician or your oncologist if you have any of these symptoms like fever, night sweats or weight loss or swollen glands which is evident in the neck, underarm or any part of the body.